All right. Hey, y'all. This is Joe out of the barn, out of St. Bernard Acres. Gail's on the camera for right now. We're going to make some birdhouses for uh, the little birdies out here. And this is a trick, or something I saw on a, on a video by John over at Jane All Zero. And uh, I'm going to do that for you. I'm going to show you how we do it, show you how he did it. And I'm going to do uh, some of these like this. And uh, we're going to start hanging them up all around here to get the birds through the winter. So, let me show you what we do. These coffee containers, we get tons of these at work. Uh, this, these big ones and the bigger uh, creamer bottles that are plastic like this. Uh, and I'm just going to do a couple up here real quick to show you how I do it. All you need is your screw gun, a hole saw. That might be a little bit bigger than what I should use, but I'm going to try it anyway and see what we come up with. Uh, and a drill bit. Let's see if I brought drill bits with me. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, the idea is the hole, you drill a little hole here to put a stick through, a, you know, a twig or whatever that the birds can land on. A hole under here for drainage, and then put it up to the tree and screw it into the tree and let it sit there. Uh, I know I'm moving it around, I shouldn't be. Uh, but I'm going to make these, and then Gail's going to paint them. Uh, and to show you how simple it is to make them, let me cut this one in first. And this is going to be the bottom, so I'm not going to do it exactly on the center. Go up a little bit because I got to have room for the. Uh, now, which stick. way is the bottom? The bottom's right here. Okay. So there's my hole. Well, actually, it didn't matter where the bottom was because you can turn the. Top around. Duh. So I'm going to use a, uh, maybe this size. What do you think of that deer for a stick going through about that thickness? Yeah, that'll be You think that's too small or? No, that'll be fine. Should we get a little bit bigger twig? No, that'll be fine. Okay. Let me swap blades out here. Or bits. Right here. Right about there, you think? Yeah, you got it close enough to where they can let this hop in? Yeah. Okay. So, about like that. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to drill a couple of drainage holes. Now what's cool about this, Gail has some hay or straw and she's going to, once we screw it on there, she's going to fill it up, make nesting material out of it, or, you know, give them something to start with, put the lid on it, put the stick in it, and let it be. They'll finish building their nest with, out of whatever they want to build it with. And next year, or when it gets dirty, pop the lid off, clean it out, put some new you're hay in. On, you're dripping on your yeah. thing. <laughs> and put the lid back on. 
So that's how you make them. Let me uh, drill the other one real quick. Wait, could have just left that on and did the. Yeah, I know. Gale to paint. That's how easy it is to make a birdhouse. That one I gotta turn around. That one I centered the hole a little bit better. But there's the birdhouses. Birds are very beneficial to a homestead. So that's why Gail's always filling up her suet containers and trying to take care of them. simple. You ready to paint? Alright, so Gail's over here painting them now using some of that metal that she complained about that I get. <laughs> uh, just a flat green color but it's made from plastic. It's going to be camouflaged. And it dries quick. Alright. You gonna do that one that side? Yeah, second. Nice and simple procedure. So next year we'll probably have about fifty birdhouses out here. <laughs> And then next week, stop and get a can of black paint, a can of brown paint, and paint them all camouflage. And the birdies will love it. All right. But that's how I simple it is. Huh? It's two, two times all for cover? It doesn't look like it needs two times. No, no. Two times actual cover. Oh, two. Hang on. <laughs> That's what she used right there. All right. Okay, so that's done. Yep, now we just got to find some twigs. So, that's the birdhouses. Now Gail has another thing she's getting ready to do for the birds. So hang on, let me get the camera ready.